Welcome back, my dear supporters. In today's video, we'll be adding an admin menu to your QB Core server. This admin menu comes packed with powerful features, making it an essential tool for managing your server efficiently. Whether you're handling player moderation, spawning vehicles, or managing in-game settings, this will be an impressive addition that enhances server administration. Let's dive in and set it up. To kick off the process of integrating this exciting and dynamic update into your 5M server, start by visiting the GitHub page, which we've made easily accessible through the link provided in the video description. Once you're on the page, locate the necessary files and download them to your computer. After downloading, extract the contents from the zip folder to access all the required files. Once the extraction is complete, carefully transfer the entire folder into the appropriate directory within your server's configuration that suits its structure and setup. Now, heading back to the GitHub site, you'll notice that the script requires a dependency called Oxlib. Click on the link, and it will take you to the Oxlib GitHub page. From there, go to the Releases tab and download the zip folder. Once the download is complete, extract the files and move the folder into your standalone directory within the server resources. Now, to ensure Oxlib loads correctly, we need to modify the server configuration file. Open your server.cfg comma and at the top, add the following line. Ensure Oxlib. This makes sure that Oxlib starts before any other scripts, preventing potential conflicts and ensuring a smooth experience. Now, below the ensure standalone line in the server.cfg file, we need to ensure the PS admin menu script. Make sure to type the exact folder name as it appears in your resources directory to avoid errors. Simply add the following line. Ensure PS Admin Menu. This ensures that the admin menu script is properly loaded when the server starts. Now for the final step in the server.cfg file, we need to set up admin permissions for QB Core. If you check the script's GitHub page, you'll find a pre-configured admin permission snippet. Simply copy that snippet and paste it into your server.cfg file. The only thing you need to modify here is the 5M ID of the player you want to grant admin permissions to. Currently, there are three admin levels available. Admin God Mod. Each level comes with its own set of permissions, allowing for different levels of control over the server. Once added, save the file and restart your server to apply the changes. After extensive testing and productive discussions, I'm thrilled to announce that RocketNode and Codeine are now official partners. We recognize the critical importance of providing top-tier hosting services to ensure your players enjoy an exceptional 5M experience. RocketNode comes with DDoS protection, 24-7 support, and cloud backups. They offer extremely customizable 5M server hosting, allowing you to create your own server with just one click. Their easy-to-use control panel makes it simple to set up and modify your 5M server. If you're tired of searching for a reliable provider for your community, start building with RocketNode today. Make sure to use the link in the description and get a 25% discount on your server by using the promo code provided below. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to enhance your server with a reliable hosting solution. Now, once you're in-game, Simply type slash admin in the chat to open the admin menu. From here, you'll have access to a wide range of powerful features that make server management smoother and more efficient. Let's go over some of the key features you can use. In player management, you can kick, ban, freeze, mute, or even spectate players, allowing you to maintain order and handle rule breakers instantly. With vehicle controls, you can spawn, delete, fix, refuel, or apply max modifications to any vehicle making it easy to test or assist players with their cars. For teleportation, you can quickly teleport to players, set markers, specific coordinates, or even teleport back to your last location, saving time when navigating the server. Under gameplay control, you have the ability to change time, adjust weather, toggle blips, enable god mode, or even make yourself invisible. 
giving you full control over the in-game environment. When it comes to inventory and money management, you can give or remove money, add items, clear inventories, and even open a player's stash or trunk, making it easy to manage in-game economy and items. In customization, you can set player jobs, assign gangs, change a player's model, or even make them drunk, adding flexibility for RP scenarios or quick admin interventions. For developer tools, you can copy coordinates, enable no-clip mode, or toggle debugging features, making it easier to test new scripts and troubleshoot server issues. And lastly, with server controls, you can send server-wide announcements, restart, or even stop scripts directly from the admin menu, giving you full back-end control without needing to leave the game. With all these features, the admin menu becomes an essential tool for managing your server effortlessly. Whether you're handling moderation, testing scripts, or making quick adjustments, this menu makes everything much easier. Now, if you navigate to the PS Admin Menu folder, go into the Shared folder, and open the config file, you'll find a range of customization options that allow you to tailor the admin menu to your server's needs. One of the key settings is config.fuel, which lets you choose between different fuel systems. Next, we have config.resourceperms, which controls who can start, stop, or restart resources. By default, this is set to admin, but you can change it depending on your server's admin hierarchy. Similarly, config.showCommandsPerms determines who can view all available commands in the admin menu. If you want to restrict this to higher level staff, you can modify the permission level here. For servers using Renewed QB Phone, there's an option called config.renewedPhone. If your server is using the multi-job feature from Renewed QB Phone, simply set this to true. Now looking at key bindings, you can customize the keys used to open the admin menu and toggle noclip mode. Config.admin key is set to page down by default. Config.noclip key is set to page up for quick access. As you scroll further down the config file, you'll see permissions assigned to each feature in the admin menu. By default, most actions are available to moderators and above, but you can modify them based on your server structure. If you want certain actions restricted to admins or god-level staff, simply change the permission level accordingly. Customizing these settings ensures that the admin menu operates efficiently and fits the needs of your server staff. Now, if you want to log admin actions on your server, you'll need to set up webhook logging. Here's how you can do it. First, head back to the GitHub page and scroll to the bottom. You'll find a code snippet for logging. Copy it exactly as shown in the video. Next. Navigate to the QB Small Resources folder, open the server folder, and locate the logs.lua file. This is where all logging configurations are handled. Inside the logs.lua file, find the webhook section and paste the copied snippet in the appropriate place. Now, to complete the setup, open Discord and go to the server settings of the channel where you want the logs to appear. Navigate to Integrations, Webhooks, create a new webhook, and copy the generated webhook URL. Finally, go back to your logs.lua file and replace the placeholder webhook in the snippet with your Discord webhook URL. Once everything is set up, save the file and restart your server. Now, all admin actions, such as bans, kicks, teleportations, and more, will be logged directly in your chosen Discord channel, allowing for better moderation tracking and server management. Now, if you're using the ESX framework, you'll find a link in the README file that directs you to an unsupported ESX version of this script. If your server runs on ESX, this version might be helpful for you, but keep in mind that it's not officially supported, so certain features may not work as expected. Make sure to test it thoroughly before fully integrating it into your server. That wraps up today's video. I hope this guide helped you set up the admin menu and customize it to fit your 5M server. With all its powerful features, this script is a must-have for efficient server management. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future 5M tutorial. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment below or reach out on Discord. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming! I'm thrilled to announce that Codeine has officially surpassed 7,000 members on Discord making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, 
We've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!